Welcome to the 2024 Economic Preparation and Depression Channel. I'm your host, Tony. Thank you for joining me on this Saturday night edition, Saturday evening edition, August 3rd, 2024. Please be sure to subscribe to this channel for the latest interpretation of financial news, always giving you the 100% unadulterated truth. I appreciate your support, ladies and gentlemen here. We are going to be talking about just this inflation and that the alarm bells are ringing and how supply shocks also could happen as a result of these kind of like heat wave spikes we've been having to our um that could affect some of our food supply uh with these heat wave and kind of drought conditions and fire conditions that we're experiencing in some parts of the country and so we're going to talk about that briefly tonight hope everyone's having a great weekend here uh wherever you may be in the country or in the world right now we're going to look at it the we have the the federal reserve rate cuts that are going to be coming in and that people are saying that regardless of whether or not the rate cuts happen or not whether or not the federal reserve bank cuts one time this year or twice this year inflation is going higher and so are stocks this is according to marketwatch.com uh today and that's the case because you remember the case with venezuela and with Sri Lanka, Venezuela, Greece, all these um countries, Turkey, the, either the currency crashed or the Inflation went so high that they had to continue to um, that, that the rate cuts didn't even matter. And so the U.S. economy and stock market can thrive even if inflation doesn't fall to 2 percent. And so right now we're going to be seeing that melt up kind of like. And so inflation, remember, inflation has not gotten down to the goal of 2 percent inflation and it hasn't gotten down to the goal of above uh, still well above 4 percent. Real inflation is really above 8 percent, really, according to shadowstats.com. But we're looking at the official numbers are still above 4 percent. And what's really going to be the double win? for this this economy is that we're going to have high unemployment rates going up and we're also going to have high inflation high inflationary prices on things that everybody needs like food shelter uh, transportation clothing etc security items you know tool power tool items etc that's going to be the big problem here so uh you might want to continue to get into some of these stocks and things of that nature it might be a good investment because you know we're going to be seeing that go up uh, obviously they're going to protect the, uh, the federal reserve bank has chosen to protect wall street and the one percent and so that means that you know invest in those Magnificent Seven and other stocks are going to continue to go up, at least for the short term. Now, the alarm bells are ringing for a downturn, economic downturn. That we've been knowing this, if you follow my channel, we've been knowing this for the last year and a half, that a downturn is coming. It's part of the natural business cycle. As you know, we go up, what goes up must come down eventually. And we've had about, what, 13 years of prosperity right now, um, allegedly, you know, of things going on. But now it's time that we're going to have a slight slowdown or a recession. Not crazy, but it is going to be a slowdown coming in 2025. And over 50% of economists believe that's going to be the case, whether or not they officially call it a recession or not. So the July jobs number, as it sold last last week, uh, I'm sorry, it came out on Friday. Yep, last Friday. It was below expected, below expectations. Unemployment rate continues to rise. Is up to 4.3 percent, and it's heading toward 5 percent, and that's going to be really, really a big sign here. So, the economy is not in recession right now, but it's acting. It's starting to show some pressure of recession because when you start having jobless claims go up, both initial and continuing jobless claims go up, and you're not creating as many jobs. See, that's another key too, ladies and gentlemen. We're only creating less than 200,000 jobs per month. That's very bad, and 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 an economy when you have over over 160 million eligible workers here in the u.s and then we have what another 20 to 30 million retirees um in the u.s and then we have another 30 million to 40 million that's unemployed or underemployed meaning they have to have two or three jobs just to make up for one job that they had before previous before the pandemic that's going to be the problem here that's the key a lot of people are not telling you that in the mainstream media so the situation is clear you know according to this article it's saying that the economy is slowing down significantly and we can feel it we can feel that that's the case and that's not not something to be uh, alarmed or scared about but it's something that we need to take preparations for that we you know could access the credit and things maybe get getting a little tighter even though the money printers or quantitative easing may be coming um may be coming with the federal reserve it's not going to actually do it's not going to have the same effect as it has in the past bloomberg.com says this guy uh mr barkin he's a uh Federal Reserve Bank of Richmond president, he says the economy is healthy with key questions around the job market. So this this uh, Federal Reserve president is saying that the economy is healthy. This I'm just giving you a balanced perspective here. Um, he's saying the economy is healthy, and it is healthy. To be fair, it is healthy in certain aspects. You know, uh, we we haven't seen runaway inflation. It's not to a hyperinflation where bread is fifteen dollars a loaf or thirty dollars a loaf or anything or eggs. But we are seeing a prolonged period of rising prices. And all commodities, and we are seeing that things are heating up with unemployment. So 
the economy is healthy in that respect, but it's not healthy in, in the key things that matter to people. Can I get a job? Can I pay for my bills? Can I take care of my family, et cetera, et cetera? So that's what we're looking at here. Now, the record heat, according to CNN Business, is set to drive the cost of fruits and vegetables higher. Now, remember first, before the pandemic, we had all these recalls, or during the pandemic, we had these recalls of different items that were tainted or contaminated with listeria. You've seen that in the news now. We've got items contained, uh, fruit and vegetables contaminated with uh, quote unquote listeria or, or bird flu or whatever the case may be. Now we're seeing that the record heat, because of the drought conditions in, in California and these fires, we can see prices of things like tomatoes, grapes, uh, bananas, lettuce uh, go up tremendously now because the farmers are struggling with extreme heat this summer that's going to be continuing. Uh, this has been one of the hottest summers on record in, in, in the valley in California as well as the Inland Empire, the high deserts, low deserts. And California is our main agricultural basket. You know, Oregon, the same thing. Eastern Oregon, many of you folks up in uh, Northern California from Chico, Redding, all the way up to Eastern Oregon and, and all those areas have experienced extreme heat. This is going to affect production. And so corn, all of your staple crops, you can expect prices to rise in food. And this is going to be tremendous put a hurt on a lot of our budgets because you know it's already expensive as it is and this is on top of black swan events here like climate change and and not just climate change but i mean the drought and the heat extreme heat conditions and the fires is going to affect they're going to price the, the farmers are going to pass those costs on to us consumers spenders you know in terms of fruits and vegetables and so if you if you can uh try to take different classes on how to uh grow your own garden sustain your own like raised gardens if you have a limited space or hydroponics if you don't have a limited space you have more acres of land and of course you know you want to start you know producing your own food obviously and learning about canning and and, and dried freeze-dried fruits and vegetables that can be a lifesaver and that's what i'm doing i'm trying to learn more about that i'm not an expert but i do have you know some things in place i'm sure many of you do as well uh you don't have to go crazy with it i don't believe even having like a bunk, you know, a five year, three year bunker or anything, but you want to learn about these things because these prices are not going to come down on fruits and vegetables. And you want to be healthy going into this severe recession that could last up to five years once it starts really getting in the gear or more. Um, you want to be healthy, and fruits and vegetables are, you know, notoriously healthy for us in a good way. Um, and not just that, but you know, protein as well. And so, you want to be healthy, and so you want to take that in consideration as well, not just, um, you know, of course, preparing financially, but also physically. And also uh, spiritually as well, because um, you know there's going to be a coming time where we're going to need to have those um, those preparations being made. So I just want to make you aware of that as well. But regardless, as we head into next month, as as we head into September, we're going to be seeing a lot of. As we head into September, we're going to be seeing the chance. As we head into September, we're going to see a chance of another rate cut, and the rate cut's going to be uh, anticipated to be a 50 basis point rate cut, and that's going to not do too much. But we're going to see how much it's going to do for this economy as it goes on. So I just want to touch base with you guys. Hope you enjoy your weekend. Leave in the comments. Let me know what you think about this uh, current changes that are happening that we see this weekend. And um, enjoy your weekend. Get a lot of rest. Drink a lot of water. Stay hydrated, uh, regardless of where you are. And I see you in the next video as we get ready for. Monday morning and more financial news coming out and earnings closer to late third quarter here. God bless. Take care.